I really want to be this girl, but unfortunately I am this girl. Hi. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This here, hey, not an art video. This is gonna be more of a town hall meeting for those who regularly tune in to this program. I've got some life updates to share. There has been a development. I've got some feelings to share. And then we're gonna talk about art slash upcoming videos slash the future of this channel. So yeah, the title, right. Well, I am moving. Myself, my partner, and Odie here are moving to London, England, of the United Kingdom. That doesn't sound real when I say it out loud. That sounds like a fake sentence. In a wild turn of events, Patrick has gotten a job overseas and we are currently in the process of applying for our visas and coordinating what will be the biggest life change possible for either of us. We're talking a complete life change change. We have been wanting to move out of Florida for a very long time now. Well, mostly me. But now we're not just moving to a different state. We are moving to a different country. I've never lived outside of Florida personally. Patrick's never lived outside of the southern U.S. Neither of us have ever lived in a big city, never relied fully on public transportation. I've been to Europe twice. Patrick has only been once. Just by and large, this is crazy. This has been in the works, in motion for a very long time. It took many months for him to interview for this position and find out that he got it. But even though we both knew about it, it was not something that I honestly thought was ever going to actually happen. Like in what world would we be that lucky? Not on this timeline. So although it is a dream come true for both of us, it still doesn't feel real. And I don't think I have fully allowed myself to feel excited about it or even really process it at all, frankly, because I'm not somebody who likes to get their hopes up and, and be let down, especially over something that is so tentative or has been and so fragile. Like at any point, somebody could have changed their mind, pull the plug. A part of me still is fearful that that's going to happen. But now I do think this is happening, at least on paper, this is happening. And now we have left the waiting to find out phase and have crossed over into the, oh shit, we actually have to do things phase. I think both Patrick and I have skipped over the excitement stage and have just sprinted full force into the panic stricken stage. Because if I think about the sheer amount of moving parts in this and all of the things we have to accomplish in a short amount of time, it sends me into a full tailspin and suddenly I'm laying paralyzed on the floor. The good news in this is that Patrick's job is actually helping us with the visa application process and some of the more logistical things that have to happen for us as Americans to live and work over there. But the actually getting over there part with all of our belongings and our dog is completely on us. After doing some research, I think we've both kind of landed on the conclusion that it's just going to be too expensive to take our stuff with us, especially our furniture. Like the cost to ship everything over there is higher than the cost that it would just be to replace things once we got there. There's also a potential headache regarding how we would get our stuff once it's over there. We'll be in kind of like a temporary hotel type of housing at first until we find a permanent place to live. So there's the moving things from here to here in a city where uh, we don't have a car. I don't feel comfortable driving. We don't know our way around. And the homes are just generally smaller there. Like there's just not room there to shimmy our king size bed down a hallway and into a room that's meant for a double bed. So the plan right now is to actually get rid of all of our stuff, which I'm sort of numb about, sort of feeling emotional about. I look around in our apartment and I can't imagine not owning some of our things. Like I'd probably say 75% of our stuff, I, I, I don't really care about, you know, it'll be fine to let it go, but there's still that small portion of stuff that is going to be um, really hard to give away. I know that it's just stuff and 
we can always get more stuff. But some of it's a little sentimental. Some of it is just kind of like the principle of it all. Like I worked to save up money for that and I picked it out and I like it and it's mine and I don't want to get rid of it. So I've definitely got to work through some of those feelings. There's also a lot of vet related visits and paperwork that we have to complete in order to bring Odie with us. The UK actually doesn't allow pets to fly into the country in the airplane cabin. They have to be shipped underneath as cargo. And I really don't want to do that to him if we can help it. We're very attached to each other if you haven't noticed. So we're looking at flying into either France or Ireland so we can have him in the cabin with us and then smuggle him into the UK via a series of taxis, trains, and ferries. I didn't really mean smuggle. He's gonna have his papers. I've got a lot of anxiety about the logistics of getting him over there safely and comfortably. So if anybody watching has any experience with moving a pet overseas, lay it on me. I would love to hear it. So yeah, currently we are waiting on our visas to be approved, doing a lot of tax preparation, bank account preparation. That's honestly way over my head. We've got to get new phone plans. We have to find a place to live. We've got to get rid of all of our stuff, make sure that baby man is good to travel. Honestly, the to-do list feels like it just keeps growing and not shrinking. If you saw my last video, I made some jokes about losing my job. Hey, not a joke. That actually did happen. I actually got laid off in September, but my last day of work was on Halloween. Cause really what's spookier than the silly antics of our corporate American overlords. But that was coincidental incidentally around the same time that Patrick found out he got this new job. So the timing of what happened to me eerily worked out since I would have had to resign anyway at the end of this year. So now I've got the last two months of this year to focus on getting everything ready for us to move in January. Which kind of brings me to the topic of upcoming videos slash the future of this channel. Because we are confined to very limited suitcase space, my decades worth of horror art supplies sadly won't be making the cut, which could make me cry if I think about it too hard. So I'm not gonna have any supplies to make any more art videos this year. And frankly, I just need to prioritize all of this other stuff happening, but I really love making those art videos and that type of content. So I definitely want to get back to it, but it won't be until we find a new place to live and we get settled over there. I'll also need to replace my art supplies, which I don't even know where you do that. I don't think they have Michaels and Joannes across the pond. So if you live in London, hey, where do you buy paint and fake moss? But in the meantime, until I can get back to making art videos, I still kind of want to post and make videos. I think I want to film some more vlog style videos of us going through this process and me talking about it. Mostly for me, it'll give me something to kind of funnel creative energy into. And it also might be fun to look back on someday. And maybe some of you guys would find it interesting to watch. I don't know. I know that most people tune into this channel to see the arts and crafts and not so much to listen to me ramble and talk about my feelings, which is fair and, and I get that. But hopefully maybe you'll stick around until we get set up in our new home, whatever that looks like. I think I feel excited about life and about the future for probably the first time ever. And I'm excited to share it on my channel and with all of you. But yeah, that's the update. Um, thank you for watching and we will see you very soon for what will probably be riveting suitcase packing whilst in a manic state content. Okay, bye.